so long as like alchemy. All right, and this was an ugly matinee game with no Kevin Durant and half the Clippers roster missing. And low-key, Steph, he might have caught a case for the abuse he dished out to these G League guards the Clippers rolled out. And it was almost like they had to see it to believe it. It was like they've heard the myth of Steph Curry. No, you got to get up on him. He's really going to pull from out there. The reload, the back tap, why not? He gets it in the corner. Now, Blake Griffin finally healthy. Really expanding his game, shooting threes, handling the ball, and then this happens. He gets the John Jones treatment from JaVale McGee's elbow, and he stays down hard. Look at him catch the Holy Ghost. You like Doc? Eh. Nah, that's too far. That's too far, man. All jokes aside, I was glad to see Blake get up from this, man. And it's, it, I'm, I'm not a Blake Griffin fan. I'm not, I'm not a fan, but I hate to see a talent like that suffer so many injuries. He got up on his own two feet and walked out, so hopefully it's just a standard concussion protocol and he'll be back within a week. But this game was about the chef, man. He learned early in life, three, always more than two, pulls up and hits it. This dude had 45 points in three quarters, shot a career high from the free throw line, and like I said, just abused the G League backcourt that the Clippers rolled out. Warriors big over the Clippers. Woo! <laughs> hey, man, and I want to be real clear right off the gate, man. I, you're going to say, oh, don't joke with the concussion things, man. If you know alchemy and you follow my stuff, I have no chill when it comes to that stuff. But in seriousness, I'm glad he's all right. It's You don't see it happen often in, in basketball and football. It's way more crazy. Playoffs going on. Alex <clears throat> Choke Smith. Anyway, let's get back to this game. There's not a whole lot to talk about in this game, really. Steph's 45 and three quarters. And like I said, I don't I can't remember a shot that he forced. It just came naturally and within the flow of the offense. Clay, if you guys pay attention, he kind of overtries when he goes back to LA, whether it's against the Clippers or the Lakers, or even when he goes to Portland. I think that he kind of, like I said, there's just a little over effort because he wants, he's probably playing in front of people he knows. It's kind of a back home game. And so he was really off in the third quarter. They ran a few sets for him and, you know, got him a few buckets. Sean Livingston, it was good to see Sean play with some confidence and some decisiveness. That's the thing I noticed about S. Dot in this. And he you you won't even you can't check the box score and tell that. But if you watch the game, Sean had a little pep in his step. And then you got to see the end of the bench, the second unit play the entire fourth quarter. JaVale got some extended minutes. And now KD resting. That's four days rest. We got Denver Monday night. But I, I wouldn't mind seeing him rusted, you know, un, un, until so then that would press it to Wednesday. If you skipped Monday, that'd give him, what, five or six days off and let him just kind of recharge the batter. You're seeing what it's done for Steph Curry. Crazy. And he did shoot a career high in free throws. And it, you could tell that he it was a real effort to do so. Pump faking on the threes. And he knew these G League guys. You want to talk about effort and over trying. You, he knows that they're going to be over aggressive and over physical and, and, and just bite at every head fake because they're fighting for their, their NBA lives. And so he definitely took advantage advantage of that the Clippers man I know people are saying oh here come the Clippers and they're just outside of the eighth seed but let's be real here they ain't making the eighth seed man they ain't making the eighth seed with just the riddled with injury Doc one of the more overrated coaches in the league I think they need to blow it up and I think they need to trade DeAndre while they can still get something for him this is a great draft coming up right and so move him hold on to Blake and and it's time it's time to tear everything down. Bomber, I know he's new to this. Get Doc the fuck out of there and blow it up and try again. Hit that like, share, and subscribe. I'm out, y'all.